They've got Plumlee. He's thrilled for this one. Everyone will be watching now how he does in his first NBA official game. And it's Hayward, and it's Washington in at the four spot. And looking at the Bulls, and they've got Vucevic, the sweet shooting seven footer out of USC, in at the center. And it's Green, and it's DeRozan in at the four. And the Bull start out with the ball. Ball defended by Ball. Now the pass to Ball. Takes the three, and that one's good. Well, man, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. On defense, Chicago. It's a three-point game. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. This is great. Three-pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Steve Clifford has 13 years of experience as an NBA assistant coach with stops in New York, Houston, Orlando, and Los Angeles. And now it's a new coach in Charlotte. I think he's a guy that's going to do well there. Savage, that's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely. Those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. So it's the Hornets now. Pass the ball. He kicks it to Hayward. He passes the ball. Lock at six. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And Clifford, the sixth head coach in the Bobcats' 10-year history, Steve. Well, he's a defensive-minded coach. Always been highly regarded around the league. I think uh, he's going to make a good impact in Charlotte. So it's the Hornets now. After the three-pointer from Lane, Rozier rejected by Lane. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Into this first quarter. Shot clock at six. Washington passes the ball. No good off the front iron. Great defense there. You really have to challenge him at that range. Well, the Bulls battled in last year's postseason. Got a game seven win in Brooklyn to sneak out of round one in what was one of the more interesting series of the first round, but then fell to the Heat. In round two. Well, loser. Lots of room. Gets the bucket. He has five. And he was one step ahead of the defense when he fired that pass for the assist. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. I caught up with the Hornets head coach. When we talked about what they'll try to do on defense, he told me they're going to have to do everything they can to neutralize their opponent's high flyers, saying, quote, we can't play above the rim like these guys, so we'll have to do our best to keep them away from the hoop. Gentlemen, easier said than done. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Both free throws good from DeRozan. And for the Bulls, no Rose the whole time. And they had questions constantly being asked if he would return. But the team came together, Steve, and showed the Bulls aren't just a one-man show. You know, they, they missed him, though, Kevin. I mean, desperately. I, I thought they performed admirably, but they really needed him against the Heat. Uh, they were able to steal game one in that Eastern Conference semifinal matchup. But without him... The Bulls just didn't have enough firepower to beat Miami. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Following the three by Charlotte. Marder Rosen on the wing. And he finishes nicely on the way. And I'll say this about him, Kevin. I mean, it looks like he's made of rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finish. And, Steve, some of the best highlights you're ever going to see are going to come from this guy. Every time he steps on the court, there's a chance he'll perform the dunk of the season. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. No good from ball. 
Boy, he blew the easy two by profile. Trying to look good. That's a bad decision and poor execution. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, gotta be able to get some hang time to do that. Yeah, you gotta rise and Sus levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, levitate. Oh, and glide. And glide. You gotta glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. And the Hornets with possession here. Trailing here by eight. What a quarter for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. Double by Washington. He dishes it to DeRozan. He's all alone. Here's Ball. Hammers it in after taking it the length of the floor. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. And the Bulls, another three. Tell you what, he is so difficult to guard, especially on a shot like that one. This is the problem. The feed to Hayward. Closure for three. It's rebounded by Ball. Here's a hit. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. He has seven. Then you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. And the shots go from ball. They're in the position they're in right now, for it's in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. Launches it. Count that one. Well, his scoring this quarter has been off the charts, and the complexion of the game as a result uh, may change. Now here's DeRozan. Seven points in the game. And he drops in the layup off the glass. DeRozan's got nine. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. That's a huge play there, Kevin. The trade and the foul. Not what the defense had in mind there. The Hornets shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Well, guys, you go back to last season, and this is a team that hit just 74% of its free throws. I know they'd like to see that number go up. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? And that first quarter was all about pace, guys, because this club really got out into transition, and that's how they built this lead. They like to play fast, and they're doing a nice job filling the lane. The shot's good from Ship. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. But the defense isn't making them earn it. I mean, those shots have just come on easy, open looks. Kicks it out to Jones. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Gentlemen, Ben McLemore grew up in poverty in the tough town of Wellston, Missouri, near St. Louis. A tiny house with up to 15 people under one roof. At times, no food, no heat. A single mother working nights to provide. And before his senior year, his high school shuttered for good. Basketball was his one escape. He said, quote, if you say you're from Wellston, they give you that look. It's just the reputation. It's a hard place to live and grow. But he says even now that he's made it out, I'm never going to forget Wellston. I was born and raised there. It's my heart and my pride. I'm going to give back. I want to build it back to how it was. Guys, what an extraordinary story. An amazing story. And Doris, good thing you had a happy end. Thank you. Here's Hunt Knight. Tipped away. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. And the Hornets making a change here. Nick Daniel, the pass to Jones. And it's sent back by Drummond. And it's Dragic off the drive. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. 
Well, his playmaking is off the charts, and the beauty of that, Kevin, is his teammates know that. Uh, so they're going to work hard to get open, knowing that if they do, he'll find them for an open look. And, you know, he's also a tough, tough finisher, Steve. There's very little a defender can do if he gets to within arm's length of the basket. Here's Buck Knight. Oh, trying for it. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. And the Hornets making a change here. Well, Chicago's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. It's Trogic with the drive. Jones for three. And the Bulls get it back. Williams outside. That drops. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. And it's Drogic with the foul. That's his first foul. Passes it to Buck Knight. Taken away. There's the break. And he's going up for the alley hoop. Williams shot is off. Tried to get a little too fancy with that one. Unless the alley hoop is going to be uncontested on both ends of the play, you're better off avoiding. The dish to Dragic. Makes the lead pass. Drummond. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Bulls. What a great hustle uh, defensively through two quarters of play. Contesting everything. Starting to rack up those block shots, guys. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break. Transition opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And now the first time I've called here for the Hornets. Yeah, he's seen enough of this interior scoring that his defense is giving up. So the message during this timeout is I'm going to lock things up inside. You know, sometimes a group can just get spaced out on defense. They're not connected and playing five is one. And usually a timeout can help you refocus and recalibrate that defense. Risky pass there. They're lucky to retain possession this time. Ball's not loose. Williams kicks to Drummond. Come get it. Pass to Jones to stop the run. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. And so Jones nails both of them. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Gentlemen, this summer, the Bulls broke ground on a new 60,000-square-foot practice facility situated just east of the United Center. Starting next season, it will replace the 12-year-old Berto Center a half hour away in Deerfield, Illinois. The Bulls coming back downtown and doing it in style in a state-of-the-art building with all the amenities, including a rooftop green terrace. <laughs> Pretty impressive, Doris. Thanks. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. Outside, Williams. One thirty-five left in the first half. Tries a three. It's rebounded by Dragic. The Bulls leading by seven. Outside, Jones, Williams, back to Jones. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Drummond, blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Drummond's got his second bucket tonight. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. Now the story is points in the paint, Clark. I mean, they're getting point-blank shots every time down. Outside, Jones. Releases from the wing and drills it. Jones has got four points in the quarter. But they're going to take tough outside shots. I mean, they're better off just firing from the three-point line. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, if you're going to be back there near the three-point line, you might as well take the three. Just step back and um, knock it down. Jones kicks to Williams. Back to Jones. Five to shoot. Number 12. 
no luck. And the Hornets now going the other way. Ship the pass to Williams. Launches a three. Good. And now just a four-point Bulls lead. The Bulls have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Back to Williams. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Just four seconds left to play here in the half. Ball. Oh, he knocks it in a beautiful buzzer beater. Just in time. Oh, a miracle heave to finish off the corner. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome, fans. We've got a close game going on out in Chicago. Chicago in a close one against the Charlotte Hornets. They've done a fantastic job pushing the break in the tempo. Easy buckets in transition. A productive first half for DeMar DeRozan. He's up to nine points and some nice plays offensively, getting the assists going. And Charlotte also looking good in the first half. And from outside, you couldn't shoot it much better than this. They are scorching hot from beyond the arc. And that'll be all for now. Thanks so much for joining us. The third quarter, just about to get underway. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. The Hornets trail. Frazier defended by Lane. With the teardrop. The Hornets have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Chicago's gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three point shot tonight. Here's Paul. The Hornets pull it in. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. Let's the three fly and the basket good. And the Hornets lead by four. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three point shot. And it's killing him. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed have been three-pointers. And we've seen a few mix-ups defensively out there on the perimeter. More than a few. I mean, the open looks they've allowed from long range have turned into a lot of points. Now here's DeRosa. D right on him. He feeds it to Vucevic. The pass the ball. They need this. It's rebounded by Ball. Hornets leading by seven. Kicks to Hayward. Wide open. Connects the jumper drops. Well, with him, what immediately comes to mind is the long-range shooting. I mean, he can knock down shots from anywhere, and, of course, that forces the defense to locate him at all times. And something else he does is he's great off the dribble. He can take it to the rack or pull up. So as a defender, you don't know how to play him. Pass to Levin. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Ball defended by Lane. Hayward passes to Washington. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Feeds it to DeRozan. He kicks to Green. Back to DeRozan. Front pass the arc. Good. DeRozan's got 12. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. Charlotte leading by four. 
Charlotte calls timeout. Yeah, he definitely saw some things that were not working for them out there. And now he's going to make some adjustments. I'm not sure what it was, but he clearly wanted something to change out there. And the Hornets making a change here. Here's Plumley. No good on the quick three. Passes to Levin. Stolen away. Here's Kelly. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Well, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And it's DeRozan missing. Charlotte's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Green with the rebound. Bulls trail by six. Tipped. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And the Hornets making a change here. And Chicago has possession. DeRozan's shot is good. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. Well, you know what, guys? DeMar DeRozan said he watched a lot of tape of Dwayne Wade working on the low block, learning to pass out of double teams and attack weaker defenders. That's definitely an area he can exploit in his own game. Mason Plumley's checked in for Charlotte. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Ball, the pass to Plumley. Ball. He's guarded by LaRusso. Six to shoot. Here's Ball. Hayward with the fadeaway. And it's White with the rebound. And for DeRozan, not a great playmaker, but he has made strides in that area. Yeah, last season he significantly improved his assist to turnover ratio. And that's exactly what you want to see out of your shooting guards because you know, even though they're not playmakers as point guards, shooting guards are handling the ball too and making plays. And the Hornets making a change here. And the free throw is good from Lubin. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Hayward with the ball. Shoots the three. And the shot is good. Hayward's got five points so far. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. DeRozan defended by Hayward. Good! Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it. I think he's starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of it. Bulls making a switch here. Green's checked in. Bulls trail by four. 59 seconds left to play here on the third. Russo out to White from the arc. And the Bulls, another three. 52 seconds left in the third. He dishes it to Plumley. For a loser, he's guarded by LaRusso. The three. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Absolutely on fire from beyond the arc. Yeah, that's where he's getting his points. Well, Chicago's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. The shot will not go. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. The question is, do they go two for one here? Can they get a good shot in time? That's the question. The Bulls have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. And White kicks to DeRozan. Can't get it to go. Nice deal from Hayward. Charlotte leading by four. Here's Kelly. Hammers it down right over the D. Major courage on display right there in that situation to go reverse. I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> well, don't tell him because I want to see it again. DeRozan dishes to Vucevic. Back to DeRozan. He passes to Green. Offline with his three. He gets it up. The shot no good. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the... Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to get going once again.
Hey, during the break, players getting a chance to refuel and hydrate with some Gatorade as there was more basketball in store. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Charlotte. How about the three-point shooting we're seeing so far, guys? Amazing. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. All free throws good from ball. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And they're going to have to continue that pace, Clark, because they're down, and anytime you're losing, you got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. But he stays with it. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And the first one drops. And the Hornets making a change here. He's off on the second. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back, but making it a two-possession game was the key, and he got that done. No good from Lane. Hornets leading by five. For a loser. It's rebounded by Ball. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Stripped away. Ball. DeRozan defending. Here's Washington. Misses the three. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Here's LeBron. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. That free throw good from Lubin. Both shots good from the strike. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Ball defended by Ball. The shot's good from Ball. And the Hornets lead by five. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. From outside the arc, that's good. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> it gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. They kick it out to Green. Bulls moving the ball around. Green with a screen for DeRozan. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And here we go, the Bulls, fast break. Shot is off. Nice D from Plumley. Hornets leading by five. A loser. And it's rejected. It's three on three on the fast break. Lane passes to DeRosa. Blocked. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Wasted no time on that one. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. And he continues to shoot well after that blazing first half. Down low. Emily with the steal. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Finish off the break. 28 points for him. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. He's not pleased with the careless turnovers offensively, saying, listen, we've got to get shots. It's as simple as that. We have to play smart and value the basketball. Kevin, did it sink in? Always great to hear from you, Doris. The Bulls trail by 12. Ball defended by Ball. Humbly with the steal. The pass to Ball. And that'll be Charlotte as it goes out of bounds. Hornets retain possession. and left in the fourth quarter. 
Gives him the lead pass. That's good. 30 points in the game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Yeah, not a lot you can do defensively when they continue to get the ball inside and get these easy shots. 131 left in the fourth quarter. Hornets leading by 12. Kelly guarded by Green. He misses the free throw. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Dish is a two to Rosen. Get there, get there. Hit me, I'm over. They kick it out to Green. They get it back. Pass to Robin. A second chance effort. And the cover is good. Nice kick out after the defense had collapsed on him. There's a minute left here in the fourth quarter. And it's the Hornets ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Plumlee. Blocked. But they get it back. Here's Kelly. They shoot again. Rebound by the Bulls. And here's DeRozan. The feed now to Green. From downtown. Pass the ball. From deep. And that is good. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Ball, the pass to Plumlee. Well, that puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. Bulls are gone. Four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. DeRozan. It's rebounded by Kelly. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his makes in the last quarter. Ball defended by Ball. And so it's Charlotte with the win. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge.